because the community needs to see that there's a HD solution that has fixed latency like analog and performs as good or better than analog in most cases. So stay tuned. It should be a very interesting week full of comparisons. Thanks. Got the uh, Sky 04X V2s here, um, Sharkbite VRX. I didn't modify the patch antennas or anything. And I'm just running some uh, Luminaire Axe 2 antennas, um, so nothing special. And then I have this, I think it's a 10.5 dB gain X Air um, antenna, patch antenna on the uh, Rapid. No, this is the Steady View. It's what comes with the uh, Sky okay. Over XV2. And then I have a uh, uh, Luminaire XE2 antenna on that, uh, just like the the one I've got here on the uh, on the Shark Bite. So I know that I could get um, different results, you know, better penetration if I had different patch antennas on the VRX, but that's not how most people are going to run it. So that's how I did the test. Um, I also did the test with the the antenna that ships with the uh, with the Freestyle VTX. Okay. Uh, and you do get different results, better results, I would say, um, with a better antenna. Um, but again, I just wanted to do the tests with what you would have um, if you buy the kit. Uh, let's see if I can show the setup here for analog. Um, so this is an RDQ Mach 3 um, that's advertised to go up to 1 watt. I measured it with the uh, IRC power meter and actually found that it um, would do over 1 watt at channel R8 which is funny because that's um, opposite of what we get with the HD0 stuff where its highest output is on uh, R1. And sure enough, the output does drop down on the uh, Mach 3 as if, I, if I put it at R1. So for all the tests I did on analog, I was either on R7 or R8. Um, and then I've got the DJI... Uh, think air unit antenna mount <laughs> for uh, for this so that I could have both antennas mounted all the time coming out the good back. idea and then the antenna on the analog is uh, MMCX to Axie Luminaire Axie um, I've got the analog here so I can unplug it and it's powered off of VBAT um, I've got the wires twisted here and there's a capacitor down below. So there's probably an even cleaner way to do this. I thought about maybe powering it off its own battery um, just so that it was completely separated, but uh, this is about as far as I want it to go. Oh, that seems like good separation. Yeah. It's and then build. These, eh, it, it, it's, a, it's a Frankenstein. For a Frankenstein. <laughs> I mean, look, the DJI antennas came to the rescue. It looks pretty clean back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah, you got the Micro V2 here, and then the uh, Runcam Micro Eagle down here, which a lot of people would say is a is a very good camera for analog. Oh yeah, um, that was, I think, one of the gold standards when it was being sold, and I don't I don't think they sell it anymore. I think what do they switch to the uh, the Phoenix or something? Yep, the uh, the Phoenix. I have the Phoenix too. That's what I use on my last test. If I recall, I, I think the I think the Micro Eagle even has a bigger sensor than the Phoenix. I could be wrong though. I think it does. So, eh, whatever. <laughs> That's animal. <laughs> it's the past. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony Rivera did a lot of these tests, and here's his setup for HD0. He's got the Sharkbite VRX, of course, the uh, VAS Mad Mushroom antennas on the top, which are good for HD0, and then the 8dB stock patches of the VRX. For analog, he's running Rapid Fire, 
uh, with the latest firmware, of course. Uh, the Foxier Lollipop and a 10.25 dB Crosshair Extreme. So a very good analog receiver. So here's Anthony's quads. You know, of course, he's got the Freestyle VTX up to one watt with the Foxier Lollipop V4 we found works quite well with this VTX. On analog, he's got the TPS Unify Pro HV VTX, which is known as one of the best VTXs you can get for analog. Um, it'll go up to over one watt. Uh, I think it's 1460 milliwatt when you set it up in Smart Audio. And then the Foxier Lollipop V4. Uh, some initial tests he did were with the Rush Tank Solo at 800 milliwatts, and we found that uh, that wasn't sufficient of a test. Um, so we, we in I think uh, the second half of the test went up to this TBS uh, 1 to 1.5 watt VTX.